Yo, what up, man? We are back, ladies and gentlemen, right here, bsideshow.net, live and direct for you guys. We got we got a cool guy here. Yeah, man, you know. Yeah, we 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 heard of him a couple times. He's been around for a minute. You know, he knows what's up, what's going on. So, you know. <laughs> This is the homie, man. He's been by the show before, and we appreciate you coming back. But yes, go ahead, indeed. let him know, man. Yeah, what's up, y'all? This your boy, J. Rowe. J to the R to the O from the Alcoholics. It's the Licks, baby. Once again on the B-Side Show. Thank you so much. Hey, uh, that shit, um, I, I randomly came up on my, uh, you know, for those that don't know, I don't want to get too into detail, but my car was totaled. And I've been busting it for a minute, so I got on my, you know, my iPod and shit, and uh, it, you know, I have it on shuffle, and damn, came up. And it was funny. It was just like yesterday, and uh, you know, but it just brings me back to shit I was doing at that time. But yeah, man. That's it's, the shit. And we talked about it off air though, but it's the anniversary of it's our, the original, uh, the yeah. 21st the original. anniversary yeah. of 21 and over. You know. <laughs> Wow. Our album's old enough to drink now, finally. <laughs> finally, right? For sure, man. So everybody raise your drinks. You know what I'm saying? Cheers, salute, skull, all that for, for, the, for the antics. <laughs> you and, even uh, got the bell. For the 21 and over album, Only When I'm Drunk, Make Room, you know what I'm saying? Last Call, all that, man. You, it, it was an introduction of, of a new thing, you know, that we were talking about. We, we like to call Cali Hop. That's the new one, man. Cali Hop, West Coast music. It's all it's all good, man. We taking up, we taking over, man. The the man, I can't believe it um, because I'm only 21 now, but I remember when the album dropped. <laughs> and <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no. Rewind. Uh, uh, yeah. DJ, rewind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, see how that didn't work? Uh, all right. But no, but here's the thing. I rewind. Here's the thing. Here's the honest truth. I really remember when that dropped, and, and that shit was hard as fuck at the yeah, time. And it was dude. at a time when I was going to, I'm at Wacko too. I'm sure you can attest to this, but yeah. when I was going to hip hop shows, heavy, like heavy. And, and when that came out, it was like perfect timing for this movement over here on, on the West, though. And, and you guys came with it um, and, and with the lyrics dog like on that shit that and and people are still trying to come with that like formula that you guys had it was so funky and the lyrics were always on point man and i, I wanted to give you guys props for that real appreciate quick, man. it man, man. We, it was tough out there in those streets back in those days you had to have lyrics <laughs> yeah <laughs> no well, well, can, you, can you elaborate on that a little bit for those you know that don't know but i mean uh, i i was explaining to somebody the other day back th in those days we used to have rap contests instead of battles you know ba a battle was more of a personal thing like when i see that fool i'm battling him you know on the streets at the mall whatever uh, there were no organized battle or rap contest where the crowd would decide or you had judges or something and for me that was a better way to pick a artist that if he could perform or he could make a good song you know what i mean so uh, i want to bring that back the, the rap contest with the judges and all that um get that going but for us it was it was about that it was about the lyrics you had to really impress people with your lyrics you know and, so and it, and it was just a thing at that time though too i mean it was about that whether you were I mean, because there was a lot of different styles at that time i'm gonna tell you because i was there fuck it hey but here, here's the thing though whether it had to do with with, with graph hip-hop dancing like it was that like even the dancers i remember being at the mall and cats would literally look at you and it wasn't like today like you didn't hit each other like you were dancing like they would just battle each other right in the middle of the mall dog like and that's that era like that's, that's what you were talking yeah that's you know what i'm battle. saying <laughs> like, yeah, they don't know each other ain't nobody I'm really, yeah. i love i love the new battle battle stuff battle rapping and stuff like that it's, it's really entertaining i just like to bring it to the light you know what i mean i love what the youngsters are doing now i love the, the the music that they're doing they're having fun with it so you, you know I, I love it man I, I i do it myself even you know and uh, and and a interesting point that you said because you are in touch with um the the up and coming artists even from over here because you travel all around and, and we'll get into that too but you're all around but you're still in tune with who's making moves right now like oh yeah i mean yeah, yeah like definitely. the homie owen shouts out to owen because that's the homie right yeah, there for um, sure man yeah yeah so antics uh, yeah yeah oh yeah i shouted you out dog Can you give me five bucks all right, hey. we found Owen. We found yeah, Owen. We found him. Right. <laughs> we found He's him. He's right there. <laughs> He's here with J. Rowe from the he has, a, he has a disguise on, a big beard. 
Hey, for those that don't, if you know him personally, he has no beard. He just wears that places. The disguise. All right, guys. Okay. Uh, so nobody <laughs> recognizes him off off job off his job. He does, you know? he does that purposely, man. It's strategic. Hey, I, I wanted to ask you though. Um, you do keep your ear to the street and, and you know what's popping and, and like who the fuck like XP like the homie XP rhyme for sure man, man. that's XP. the homie but how does that come about like just being a hip hop head cause that's why me and Wacko know what's going on I just wanted to know from you personally I mean like, I come from the school of, of Ice-T you know syndicate rhyme syndicate and that's what, it, what the formula they had just keep putting people on and that will keep you relevant in the game you know when you go out there and just want to do it yourself and you don't have no crew behind you you don't have you don't have a a, a following as far as artists that are coming up after you 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 have nothing to fall back on after that once you're gone you're gone and you, and you know you have you have nothing like you i can go do a song with them on xp's album on o we'll do a song with owen uh, and, and his beard. <laughs> I think his beard is Batman, actually, because right. I've never seen his beard and Batman in the same building. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> just something to think about. <laughs> but, People uh, are gonna be googling his beard. Like, Damn, for real, his beard is the Batman. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, no, and, and that's real that you said it, and it, uh, you mentioned Ice T and people might not know this and we like to just sometimes spit gems real quick but like ice t was responsible for people knowing who um everlast was from house of pain or or kid frost even like people don't know that that ice t put them on and they might have yeah. went a whole like they have their own mm -hmm. crowds and followings but ice t is the one that put he, like that's crazy he, he he's not just a cop on tv people <laughs> just throwing that out there it was way before that man you know what i'm saying but <laughs> he it goes back to what is an mc if he can't rap i, can, oh, man, you, oh, I right. always wonder when he goes to a restaurant does he say give me a iced tea <laughs> 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 throw, throw, throw some extra no ice sugar. cubes. No sugar. <laughs> no throw, sugar. Throw some extra ice cubes in it. All right. <laughs> hey, what we would do is play a video real quick, man. We'll be right back. We got J-Ro in the building, the licks, all that, man. Uh, oh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the collab, too, that you guys had, um, yeah. you know, with the beat nuts, man. That shit was dope yeah. to me. And uh, we'll be right back. Peace out.